down along the parade route, and the wind just drastically picked up, as you can probably tell. I want to show you what's coming down here along Jefferson Street. And uh, we have the Western Virginia Regional Jail that's coming down, and you can see just the wind picking up here. A lot of people just ran for cover down here along the parade route. Well, today is all about our veterans, and here to talk about their time in the service, two folks from Roanoke that served in the Marines and the the Army. Ronald Brewer, you served in the Marines. Tell me yeah. briefly about your time in the service. Well, I started in um, out of high school in 1977, graduated from PH, I served to 1992. And today is a special day, not only for me, but for every veteran I know that's here and that's gone. And it's the day that we honor them. And the way that you honor them is to be here. Rain, shine, or what? A veteran is a veteran. And the thing I like about Ronald, it doesn't matter because we have so many veterans here that we need to do this. I wish we could have one twice a year, but you know, we don't, but I like it and I love participating in the, in the parade and everything. And it's just nice to be here. And I just love being a Marine. Well, thank you for your service. And you were in the parade route. Yeah. So you were in the, the first half of it. Tell me what it was like riding through and seeing everyone. Yeah. It's the first time I got to ride in a new Hummer, um, in, a, in a Humvee, and uh, I got to ride on the turn. Hey, Lord, I was on the turn, and uh, I got to ride on that. And the Marines, there's um, at um, Company B, those guys do a fantastic job. And um, like I say, it's just nothing like being a Marine and being around your fellow Marines. And and everybody came out, you know, line of parade routes. I thank them for coming out in this weather and showing their support for us. Okay, really thank you so it. much. Mm -hmm. And joining us from the Army is Anthony Ramey, and you actually grew up together. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me about your service. Well, I started same, 1977, graduated from William Fleming. Went to Fort Jackson, South Carolina for basic training. Yeah. Before it been in Georgia as an operations sergeant, and then from there I went overseas to Germany, and it was all right. I had a good time and some bad times, but I like seeing some of the guys that went in the service from PH Fleming. There's a lot of veterans around here, and most of everybody around here know each other. Okay, well, thank you both for your thank service. You. Enjoy today, and John and Lindsay, we'll head back right. to you. Thank you. Well, Jenna, I will I will tell you what, uh, the parade from our position, the, the last unit has just gone by. We mm -hmm. see the Roanoke City Police car. Uh, and that is um, that is the end of the parade from here. But, of course, there's still a lot of parade to come by your per, uh, perspective. So let's go to Patrick. Hey, guys. We still have a little bit of the uh, parade still to go by for us. And tell you, uh, just in time because the cold front just came through, the rain picked up and the wind as well, but thankfully it's calmed down. Everybody prepared. They had their umbrellas uh, out here, so we're still enjoying the tail end of this parade. Uh, joining me now is lead cadet from the Virginia Tech Corps of Cadets, Gus Nelson. Thanks so much for uh, coming and talking to us. What drew you into the Virginia Tech Corps of Cadets? Well, I've been to a Virginia Tech football game every year since I was born. Our car is maroon. Our bulls are maroon and orange. I think it was destiny for me to come here. A diehard Virginia Tech person for sure. Yes, sir. Why is it important for the Corps of Cadets to be involved in, in the Veterans Parade? Roanoke has given Virginia Tech and the Corps a lot of support in our history, and I think they really appreciate us when we come over and show them a little bit about what the Heidi Tidies can do. Now, you've been up on the stage introducing some folks as they pass by here. Do you have a favorite part of the parade? My favorite part is all the patriotic colors that I see. I love seeing red, white, and blue everywhere. And we certainly have seen a whole lot of that. Guys, thanks so much for uh, coming over and talking to us. And I'll let you get back in uh, under the shelter and uh, dry off a little bit. All right, thank, thank you. you so much. Guys, I'll send it back to you for now. All right, thank you, Patrick. And our coverage of the Virginia Veterans Day Parade will continue. Right bit. after this. When you've got bugs, call Bugman, the Valley's treasure.